to the the postmaster general of all United States post offices. Okay, and I have a complaint, and this is repeated effects. I have PO boxes all over the United States because I travel so much, and uh, this particular post office in Valparaiso, Florida, next to Eglin Air Force Base, uh, is quite interesting. Um, I do have a PO box here. Uh, I've had one twice in my life here. Um, and uh, it's just amazing. Today is Saturday and they close at 11.30. Um, I was up here at 11 o'clock because I have a document I'm waiting on. And uh, so it wasn't in the P.O. box strangely enough and it was actually due Wednesday to this post office uh, is a normal delivery date of that particular document and um, so we asked the uh, receptionist at the desk is all the mail up because you know in most post offices it'll have a sign when you go to the P.O. box area says all the mail is in the boxes by 8.30 in the morning because they don't want you to ask at the desk, like, is all the mail there? Well, this particular post office, you need to ask, search, hire a detective, sometimes go to the other post office. You have to chase your mail around and act to get it at this post office. I don't know what the deal is. They either need to hire more people or close this one down or do something because it's ridiculous. And I cannot understand why a post office that's right next to a military base, um, like a mile, uh, is not functioning properly. Anyway, when when asked the receptionist at 11 o'clock today, is all the mail up? No, we haven't got to it yet. But, you know, they close at 11.30. But here's the interesting thing. There's been a, a, several occurrences of packages I've had to deliver to this address. Um, while I was traveling across the states because I was going to come through here uh, for my work. And uh, the tracking number will read that it's here. But when you call them, it's not. When you go to the establishment, it's there's no notice. And then you tell them, well, the tracking number says it's here. And they're like, well, it's not. Here's what they do with the mail here. The mail goes to the Niceville, Florida post office. And when somebody has time, which can be day or night, I swear, even at 9 o'clock at night, somebody is going to bring all the mail from the Niceville Post Office over to the Valparaiso Post Office, seven days and nights a week, uh, and then they might even load it up or put a notice in your box that you have a package. Uh, it's, it's a mess. And then you'll get messages through your email saying, your, your item was delivered three days ago to such and such post office and uh, uh, you need to respond or pick it up or it will be delivered back. And the thing's not even there. So one of the times, you, ha you have to check your mail at night because it's not going to be in the post office box in the day. That stuff will appear at night, anywhere from 9, 10, 11, 12 at night. And uh, so... One day, the, the, the mail was not there. Checked several times through the day, about every two hours. At 10 o'clock at night, came down to the post office, and by God, that document was in the box. You want to explain that to me? So, and this post office is terrible busy, and the hours are open. Uh, it's like heck to get in, if you have to wait in line. But... Why are we not getting anything done? I don't get it. And why is mail being shipped from another post office where they can't even ship it on time? You know, it's three days later. Uh, can anybody answer my question? It's just amazing. What kind of circus mode is this? It's really sad. Because sometimes you go in and there's two or three people working there, but nobody's loading the mail in. You know, you ask them real nice and they're like, oh, we haven't had time. Well, I mean, can't there be one person that handles the incoming mail and one person that handles the desk? Or two people that handle the desk and one person handles the incoming mail so that it's up 
in the appropriate time? That's all I want to know. Anyway, you guys have a good day. And if you're having the same problem with your post office, state your city and state. Or if it's about this post office, state the city and state and your complaints. And let's see if somebody's listening. All right? Give me a cool thumbs up if you're digging this vlog. And please subscribe for more tips and hints and travel and uh, lots of other cool things. You have a great day and have a very blessed day. Thanks for watching and thanks for stopping by. Love to you from Big Red.